Hello, I'm Dr. Soumya Swaminathan. I'm chairperson of the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation in Chennai in South India. And the project that we're going to be implementing is in four districts of Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry, also in South India, working with Fisher women and essentially bridging the digital divide, the gender digital divide, in order to improve the socioeconomic resilience of these Fisher women. I'm Professor Sanjeev Kumar. I work with the Go Trust. And uh, we are headquartered at Lucknow uh, in the state of Uttar Pradesh in India. And uh, this whole project we have conceived to empower livestock extension workers, the women, uh, which call Fasu Sakhis, to link with them through digital technology to make cost effective, affordable digital services to large number of goat farmers across India and globally. Hi, I'm Tejasuni. I'm from an organization called Yugantar. Yugantar is uh, based in Hyderabad city of Telangana state. We work mostly in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh states in India. Uh, for this, we're working on a project uh, called Digital Budget Rani. Digital Budget Rani uh, aims at uh, teaching women in an unorganized sector how to use their phones for making UPI financial transactions and digital payments. Yeah, myself, Nares Nam, and I'm working with the Manjiri Foundation as a program director. And uh, Manjiri Foundation uh, is working uh, in four Indian states. These are the Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, and Uttarakhand. And uh, under this uh, Women Connect Challenge project, we will implement this project in eight districts of the Rajasthan and to reaching out 25,000 women in 250 villages uh, uh, across eight districts. I'm Vipin Sharma. I'm the founding CEO of Access Development Services. It's a not-for-profit based in India. I'm, our headquarters are in uh, New Delhi, but the project actually is going to be implemented in Jaipur in Rajasthan. Uh, we work in 14 states of the country and Rajasthan is one of our principal states. Our program that we are talking about is uh, about uh, empowering uh, women entrepreneurship in the country, uh, specifically in Jaipur. Hi, this is Osama Manzar. I'm from Digital Empowerment Foundation based out of New Delhi, India. And the project that I'm talking about is She Catalyst, where several women actually train to make entrepreneurs, digital entrepreneurs, and also protect people from misinformation and fake news and so on and so forth at a village level. Hi, this is Pradyut. I head uh, Seven Sister Development Assistance, SESTA. We work in northeastern part of India in three states directly and four other states with partners. We are working in some of the most remotest and impoverished regions uh, uh, co covering around two lakh households in 30 districts. This project that we are going to implement with Reliance and WCC is called transformation, triggering transformation in SHGs to bridge the rural divide. And this targets around 10,000 women and adolescent girls to access technology, to change stereotypes around uh, uh, digital divide, and also create an enabling environment so that the women and adolescent girls can access technology in a more democratic manner. See, women and livelihood, everybody knows when women get empowered, many of developmental goals get uh, achieved. This initiative uh, is going to really help bring uh, women, particularly those who are underserved and come from low income households to get mainstream within the national economy. Because it's trying to identify the gaps and the felt needs uh, of women in different occupations and professions and, ad and address them by empowering them with the knowledge and information that they need to improve their own lives. Efforts like Women Connect Challenge are very important because they can increase the independence of women, which is essential for the empowerment of women.